Yah Shalom family. All praises to the Most High, our power. The Great I Am, loving kindness, the Holy Great One, the power of the Yahudim. All praises to the Supreme. All praises to the Shekinah, our mother. All praises to the earthly mother and her angels. We acknowledge their presence in our midst. We acknowledge the presence of the heavenly hierarchies, the office of the Christ, the angel of the presence, the watchers of holiness, the chieftains, the seraphims, the cherubims, the orphanims, the sanobims, the elim of the heights. We acknowledge the presence of our righteous ancestors in our lives, the loires. We acknowledge the powers work, walking and working among us. We acknowledge the presence of the consuls. We acknowledge the presence of Dina, who was blessed with immortality by her father Jacob. All our spiritual guides who are guiding us, all the ascended and descended masters who are leading our steps in righteousness. Every God at every gate, we acknowledge your holy guidance today, right now. As we continue the journey to the soul, when the soul crosses over into the realm from which it came, we give a massive thank you to the Most High. Because we have been given knowledge that we were never able to learn or were not given the opportunity to learn about when we were in the Christian Christianity church churches. We were never taught these things by our pastors, our priests. We were as dead men walking, appeared to be alive, but spiritually dead. So we give honor and glory to the Supreme, to Anuka said, the great I am, loving kindness. We are forever grateful to you, Most High, for leading your children, the children of light, to this higher high level knowledge for you have taught us and we have been told to learn how to close our eyes to this world so that we may know how to open them to the other side you have written in the in the sacred scrolls for us the blueprint and how to live our lives according to the laws of the earthly mother. How to live in peace with the brethren. How to be in one accord with the earth. How to know her laws. So that we may benefit from them. Some of us have returned during very special times to lead the rest of us and among the ones that have returned to lead the rest of us not all of them have came through the portal of a woman we thank you most high for giving us higher knowledge that the beasts try to hide and claim as their own. But you have revealed them to us as we returned to complete our spiritual tikkun, our spiritual correction.
the following information is a continuation of the last study. The journey of the soul when the soul crosses over. But it begins here on the earth as you live your life right now. The mention, the mentions that you shall inherit deter, is being determined by the quality of life that you live right now. The levels that the, your soul shall reach in the beyond, in the higher realms of light, is being determined every second, every minute, every hour. Every day, every week, every month, every year. By how you live your life on this market. The world of confusion. The world of chaos. The, the glass that does not shine but only reflects. But remember. The most I promised. That in the last days. He is going to raise up. A people. With the same type of faith that was found among the people of the great city of righteousness. The Mayanians. The people of Enoch. Whom the most I said never before. Have I found in one man the fullness of my name written on his heart. That Enoch should find himself a people. And he should turn their hearts to the Most High. And as a promise to Enoch, the Most High says, if he can do that, then he promised to take him. And the Most High kept his words. He sent the seraphim messengers to take Enoch up out of the earth with the whole city. And he did the same thing for the Rechabites, sons of Jonadab, sons of Je sons of. Rechab and they went to earth too and the Messiah Yahuwah the supreme your power promised that he will raise up a people in the last days with the same type of power with the same type of faith and that he will do for you the same that he did for them because as it was in the beginning so shall it be in the end but why is the Messiah talking about faith why did he specifically say with the same type of faith? Not with the same type of skin tone. Not with the same type of heights. Not with the same type of eyes. Not with the same type of hair. But with the same type of faith. Because this is the spiritual conversation. This is a spiritual conversation. Because you may look like me. Talk like me. Walk like me. But you nothing like me. You are an imposter. Or rather, I'm nothing like you. And the imposter is I. I'm fronting. Because it is by your thymus. By your higher heart. By your deeds. By your merits. By your actions. That, that you will be judged. You are writing a, a bio scroll. Every day. Every thought is a prayer. Every night. Your soul of sins. Leaves your body and testify about your actions during the day. And if your soul merits, the most I send you back to your body to have a, another day. A better day that you had the day before. So if you transgress the day before, if you sin the day before, we petition and we go to the throne of the most I with open hearts, contrite heart and a contrite spirit, clean hands. And we say unto the Most High, forgive our sins, forgive our iniquities, Father, Mother, and we repent. And we make a change in our mind as to what we shall do in place of the error. And we grieve with the Most High. Because repentance leads to forgiveness. Forgiveness leads to salvation. We have been commended to look for repentance and to look for reproval wherever that it may be found. Because on our road to Damascus, we 
shall be knocked off our horses. And we shall have visitations from the Most High. A one-on-one -on -one visitation. Some of us over and over and over and over again. Until we realize that we are not our own. That we have been bought with a price. That we are connected with by covenant. Everything we do, we are connected by covenant. A covenant that was made for us way before we came into existence. And there is nothing about you that, that the most I see that married redemption. But he says that he will redeem you on the merit of your mothers, on the merit of your fathers. Because all my people have gone a whoring. Only a chosen, chosen, a few hidden among the many. A sacred, sacred that is about the father and the mother's business. So he's going to raise for himself a people just like the ones that he told Enoch to find for himself and instill in them those same qualities he found in him and make sure that they live according to them and each one of them that he will take them up out of this earth when he was going to bring judgment upon the wicked because the most I cannot fully bring the judgment upon the wicked as long as the righteous is among them and family best believe there is a judgment on the wicked this is not all esoteric The wicked will be judged. Whether it be by the conscience. Or whether it be by the earthly mother angels. Raising up and rebelling against them. They will be judged for their actions and their inactions. Because the most I showed Samael. What would happen to them. His reward. If he would. He showed Samael and the 70 angels their rewards if they would honor us when we, when we were, when we are in their midst. And they refused the reward. And they shamed us. They shamed the Shekinah. They disrespected us, neglected us, dejected us, abused us. They did to us whatever that they wanted to do. But the Mosa says, Woe to Samael. Woe to Samael and the 70 elders. And the Mosa commended each and every chieftain, take notes, write down everything that they do. For I will use that to bring judgment against them. So we have been commended to live according to the law. According to the law of the most high power. If we falter in the law, repent. Just like our father Yatsikar, whom you used to know as Adam. He had repented when he was about to slaughter the sheep. And the sheep spoke to him. One I keep a 79. Why are you killing me? And yet Sikat said, I don't know. Said the Lord told me. The angel of Shemael said to Yat Sikat, no. You got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. This is not what you were told. You were told to repent. And he didn't know what repentance was. And the angel of Shemael taught Yatsika the obedience of repentance. If he had to be taught the obedience of repentance, then you, you best believe that there is such a thing as the disobedience of repentance. And there are those among us, or even us sometimes, we are in disobedience of repentance. And we must repent and return. So we may be counted worthy. So we may be counted among these few. Among these chosen, chosen. Among these sacred, sacred. So we thank the Most High for giving us higher knowledge. That we were never taught when we were in the Christian church. That the pastors never taught us. 
<laughs> they probably never even know. They probably never even knew that these, these records existed or whatnot, this, this higher learning existed because a lot of them did it for the money. A lot of them turned the house of the Most High into a marketplace. The Mosa says, I'm coming to my temple to expel the shepherds from turning my temple into a marketplace. So we continue the education of the soul. After the soul crosses over, and we also continue how your prayers are handled when you pray. There are chieftains that guard every gate. Every level of heaven, there are chieftains, and under them, there are myriads and myriads of angels who take command on what to do and not to do. We're going to learn about this chieftain today, these chieftains and who they are. In other cultures, they have other names. In other cultures, they are known by other names. But it doesn't matter. Today, we are, we, we are staying on the land of the Hebrews. In every other country, in every other cultures, they are known by other names. But for the Hebrews... You got to learn who they are and what their functions are and how your soul is being handled after you cross over. And there will be more videos like this because there is nothing more important, in my opinion, than the education of your soul because your soul lives on. The journey continues for you after you exit this matrix. The journey continues for you after you part ways with matter. After you leave behind the flesh. After this body decays. The, the soul, the spirit continue that journey. It's best that you know ahead of time how to live your life accordingly. So that you may end up. Where you deserve to go. Because your story. Continues. This lesson is titled. Chamber of Sapphire Stone. Let's go straight into it. The chamber of a sapphire stone. Now the sapphire stone. The sapphire stone. Before I go here. Let me see. The sapphire stone. The sapphire stone belongs. The sapphire stone belongs to the tribe of Issachar. Yisakar, Yasakar. The sapphire stone belongs to the tribe of Yasakar. Sapir. Lapis Lazuli. It is a blue stone. The stone of Yasakar, Issachar. Who had overstanding of the times. Meaning he had the gifts of prophecy just like Nostradamus. Nostradamus was... Of the tribe of Issachar. He had overstanding of the times. And in the giving of the law. Before he was a high priest. Okay. We're going to read a little bit on Issachar later on. It is a stone that is good for healing. Good to pass across the eyes. Either for removing spiritual cataracts. Or also for sight. For it is said in Proverbs 3 and 8, it shall be health 
the stone shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones and marrow to thy bones. We are in Zohar. We are in the Zohar book 13, page 263. This is a continuation of the journey to the soul. The journey of the soul to the to the to the beyond. And it also covers how your prayers are being handled when you say a prayer. If it's not answered, why? What's stopping your prayer from being answered? If your prayer was answered and you received the results that you had, that you requested, why did that happen? Who is in charge of your prayers? Who are the chieftains? And who is the main chieftain in charge of your prayer so that it may receive? So that it may ascend, it may, your prayers may ascend to the throne of the Most High. Huh? Let's get a quick preset real quick. Hold up. Forgive me. Isaiah 54, 11. O afflicted, storm-tossed one who has not been consoled. Behold, I will set down gems at your flowing stones and lay your foundation with sapphires. Ezekiel 1, 26 through 28. Above the expense over the heads of the living creatures was what looked like a throne of sapphire. And high above on the throne was a figure like that of a man. And from his waist up, it looked like glowing meadows, as if full of fire. And from his waist down, he looked like fire. Brilliant light surrounded him, like the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day. So was the radiance around him. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yahuwah, and when I saw it, I fell down and I heard the voice speaking. Zohar book 13, page 263. The chamber of a sapphire stone. We are going to learn about seven chieftains. Tahariel. Sahadayel, Staturaya, Adir Raya, Snugaya, Sendofan, and Shimael. We begin our reading from the top. Rabbi Shimon tells us that the first chamber marks the beginning of the faith. The first chamber is the light of wisdom or sight. The first chamber family is Malkut. Malkut. From Malkut, the first chamber, we ascend all the way up to the tenth chamber, Kether. Malkut is a glass that does not shine, that only reflects. This is the reason why it's called the chamber of faith. This is why it, is, it marks the beginning of faith because here it only reflects you need faith. That's why in the book of Moses, the Moses says, I can't do anything with you un unless you have faith. The fullness the sum total of your faith. What is faith? The sum total of all the trust that is in your heart. So in my could, you need faith. 
it marks the beginning of the faith and is a light of wisdom or sight. Although it is the first or the lowest of the grades of holiness, right? it is the first, Sephiroth, emanation. It is the lowest, Sephiroth, lowest emanation, the grades of holiness. It is also the last of the descending grades on the other side. Remember, there is another side of the Sephiroth. Of the grades of holiness. Therefore, when Hosea, Hosea looked into Malkut, he saw the levels of defilements. Remember our lesson we did a few months ago on Noah and Hosea on the levels of defilement. And we are told. That people should not enter these chambers of defilement. We are told that people should not enter these chambers of defilement. These chambers of defilement so that they won't be drawn to them. Malkut. <laughs> Malkut can trap you. You can be drawn to these chambers of defilement in Babylon and get lost in them. So you should not look in them. Mm? Stay away from them. Hosea looked into the chamber because he wanted to know why. Why the people of the Mosai left the secret of the faith. And he wanted to know what the defilement was like that they were always drawn to. Hmm? What was it about this chamber of defilement that made you leave the secret of the faith? And why were you so drawn to it? And Hosea saw these things in Malkut in the first chamber. Which is the chamber of the start of all the grades of ascent. For Malkut, you go up all the way up to Kitter. And Malkut is governed by a chieftain called Tahariel. Malkut is governed by a chieftain called Tahariel. Tahariel and his other chieftains guard the gate that each soul has to pass through after death. Each soul passes through a gate after death. As you pass in through that gate, that portal, you are going to be greeted by a chieftain called Tahariel. If the soul is not good enough to enter the gate, another chieftain of the other side is summoned and the soul is moved to the chambers of defilement. You see that? And this is the reason why you have to learn how to live your life accordingly. If perchance your soul is summoned, and when you are greeted by this chieftain Tahariel, and you lived a repented life, and you had some good merits, and you had clean hands, and what in your hands and your heart was pure, then the angel Tahariel will let you go through. You can pass through. Huh? <laughs> Remember, in other cultures, they are known by other names. So in Haitian Vodou, he will be known as Baron Samdi. Baron Samadi. Whole different level. Let's keep going. 
Tahariel decides, okay, if your soul is good enough to enter, if it is not, another chieftain of the other side is summoned and the soul is moved to the chambers of defilement. Where the soul is taken to Gehenna and judged for 12 months. Again, in Haitian Vodou, the belief is when a person crosses over, when the flesh decays and the person dies, it is believed that the person returned to Alada. The person returned to Alada. The soul returns to a place called Alada. But in Kabbalah, Alada is an is a chieftain. Alada is an angel, is a chieftain. Alada is a chieftain. They say that the person returned to Alada in the waters. Over here, it says the person is, is taken. Whoever is not good enough to pass through the gate is returned to Gehenna and judged for 12 months. In Haitian Vodou, you return to Alada for 12 months and a day. Hmm. That's all I'll give you. You are taken to Gehenna. And judge for 12 months. Tahariel also decides. That prayers are worthy to be passed. Upward through his gate. For Malkut. Upward through his gate. If a public prayer comes along. Comes through. He opens the gate and brings it in. If it's a solitary prayer, he opens the door and lets it in. If it is a good, if, if the prayer is good enough for the Holy King. But if the prayer is unworthy, Tahariel pushes the prayer out and it goes back to the lowest of the firmaments below. Now let's go back up top. If, it, if it, there's a difference being made from a public prayer and a solitary prayer, you see, there are prayers that are, that, are, that are stated that you say from your heart and your mind and the most I know what you're going through from within. And there are prayers that you utter verbatim with your mouth, with others, public, solitary, public, the gate is open. Solitary, the door is open. You see, the gate is wider than the door is. The, the door is, that's why the scripture said, open your door, open your closet door. And, and, and pray there. Meaning that go within. Go within you. And meditate there. And commune with your power from within you. The door opens. If the prayer is good enough for the holy king, but if it is unworthy, Tahariel pushes it out and he goes back to the lowest of the firmaments below. But why would make your prayer unworthy? Why would your prayer be unworthy if you said it when you needed in um when you needed relief? Many things can render your prayer unworthy. Your prayer can be selfish. You may be praying, yet you have not repented. Hmm? Here, once the prayer is pushed down to the lowest of the feminines below, there is another chieftain named Sahadayel. Sahadayel keeps all the rejected prayers until the person repents. Repentance leads to forgiveness. Forgiveness leads to salvation. Look for repentance wherever it may be found. You may be praying, but I have no business praying. 
you need to be repenting instead. If you find that prayers are not being answered, Sahadiel is holding them until you repent. Tahariel pass your prayer down to Sahadiel, and Sahadiel is holding your prayer until you repent of your iniquities, of your sins, of your evils. There is a difference between sin, evil, and iniquity. I did a video on that two years ago. Go check it out. Sahadiel keeps all the rejected prayers by Tahariel. Until the person repents. When the person repents. And prays a better prayer. Sahadayel. Takes the unfit prayer. And elevates the prayer. To meet the good one. You see. When you repent. Your old prayer. That was rejected before. Was kept. Now. When you repent. And you say a better prayer. The new prayer is being brought together with the old prayer. And both of these prayers are elevated. See, the unfit prayer elevates to meet the good one. Then they both rise to stand before the holy king of king of kings. If we go to the third testament... There is a chapter on prayer. Chapter 17 talks about prayer. What is prayer? It is a blessing which the Most High has granted to men so that it will serve him as a ladder to elevate himself, just like your good prayer, along with the unfit prayer. Are elevated, rise together to stand before the Holy One. So your prayer is a conduit to elevate yourself to the Most High. Mosai says, family, true prayer has disappeared from the earth. True prayer has disappeared from the earth. The Testament. Chapter 17, page 164. True prayer has disappeared from the earth. Mosa says, you no longer pray. And when you try to do it, instead of speaking to me with the spirit, you do it with your lips. You see, this is what we just talked about. A public prayer. And a personal prayer, a public prayer, the gate opens. A private prayer, the door opens. A solitary prayer, the door opens. The solitary prayer should be done with the spirit. The Mosa says, you have forgotten how to pray. You do it with your lips. Employing useless words. Rituals and material idols. The most I says it is necessary that true prayer return to men. And it is I who have come again to teach you true prayer saith the most high. The Mosa says, teach your brothers how to pray. Make them comprehend that it is their spirits which must communicate with their creator. It is their spirits which, which must communicate with their creator. Do not use useless words. Don't think because you're talking so much, you are being heard. Tahariel will hold your prayer because it is unfit. And he will pass it to Sahadayel. And Sahadayel will hold your prayer. 
even more so until you repent. Teach your brothers and your sisters how to pray. Tell them it is their spirit that must commune with me. It is not necessary for you to do all the semantics that you do, crying, jumping, all of that stuff. The most I says, no. Leave the earth for a moment and come to me in spirit. Leave the earth for a few moments today, beloved, and go to your power in spirit. Sahadayel, once you repent together with your former unfit prayer, takes the new one and then they both rise to stand before the Holy King. We hear about the gate of tears. Now, you know well of the gate of tears on this channel. From the Tikone Hazo Hall, when the Mosa gave us the revelations, the true meaning of the Anabekos, Anabekoak prayer that regenerates and reactivates our 248 and our 252 according to the law of the Mosa. We were given. The revelation of the gate of tears. All the gates were closed except the gate of tears. Where the Shekinah and them chieftains with the Most High were. They were there waiting for you, Jacob. To go with, to the gate of tears with your crying, with your repentance. So that you can get access to Kassed, to mercy, to grace, to loving kindness. The gate of tears was open to you always. The moment you went to the gate of tears with your prayers, with your repentance, the Shekinah opened for you because it is for you that the entire creation was created, Jacob. It is for you, sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that the Messiah created the, the earth. Everything was created for you. Every nation rejected the law except for you. Remember who you are. The Most High reestablished the laws with Jacob. Because the sons of Yatsikad did not reverence the law. Only in one man that the Most High found worthy on the earth to reestablish his laws. And that was Jacob. We hear about the get of tears. Rabbi Shimon talks about the Holy Spirit named Statuvaya. There is the Holy Spirit at the get of tears. She also had a name, has a name called Statuvaya. Not just the Shekinah, but Statuvaya. Statuaya rejoins male souls with female souls. Now we back to, to the death of the body and the journey to the soul of the soul. As they pass through the gates, each gate is analogous to a heaven. As they pass through each heaven. We now we back to that level. At this level, we learn of the Holy Spirit named Statuaya, who rejoins male souls with female souls in the seventh chamber above the seventh heaven.
not the seventh heaven, the seventh chamber. Similarly, similarly, <laughs> similarly, similarly, a spirit named Adir, Adir, like Adir, be Adiraya, Snugaya, rejoins female souls with male souls. Staturaya rejoins the male souls. Adiraya, Snugaya. Rejoins female souls with male souls. In a book that is that costs about eight thousand dollars called the Gates of Reincarnation, it is it is it is stated also in the Zohar. It is also stated that when you were a soul and you you took up on a body on the earth. When you were a soul and when a body was prepared for you and you came on the earth, you came to the earth, but you also had a soulmate. That when you are in Malkut, you shall rejoin with your soulmate that statuaya. In Adiraya Snugaya joined together in the seventh chamber in the heavenlies. Only when you are doing your spiritual work and you are conscious of that, that your soulmate is brought to you. And together, the two become one. Until you find your soulmate, you are incomplete. Until you are reunited with the soulmate. As you are doing your spiritual walk, your spiritual work for the Most High. But it is not necessary to be wedded in my good for you to be worthy of achieving spirituality and ascend to the thrones of the Most High. You can decide to never marry and still merit a mention in the Most High's many mentions. However, There are those of us who will be wedded and when they have the conscious realization that they came back, they return to do some type of spiritual work for the Supreme, they will be reunited with their better half, their soulmate that they were already united with. Before they incarnate on the earth. By the chieftains. Holy Spirit. Satu Raya. And Adir Raya. Snugaya. Who rejoins male souls. And female souls. Once the soul leaves the body. Back in the heavens. After describing. This is called the marriage of the souls. Rabbi Shimon describes the wheels. The wheels in the living creatures in the flash of lightning. The wheels are also called the cherubims, the seraphims, the salobims, the orphanims. Rabbi Shimon described the wheels in the flash of lightning. Who are the wheels? Who are the chieftains of the wheels and the flash of lightning? We read how Sendophon. Sendophon takes the finished prayers of the people of the Most High, the Yahudims, and brings their prayers up to their master. 
we learn about Sendophone. Who is Sendophone? As I have stated to you in another video about Sendophone. The Archangel Sendophone is one of the more popular angels. But what is the truth of this angel we call Sendophone? Let's read a little bit about the Archangel Sendophone. Just like Michael, Gabriel, Uvael, Raphael, and Metatron, Sendophone is many people's favorite. Sendophone is the emissary of prayer. Sendophone is not the only angel of prayer, but he's the chieftain. He's the chieftain. He has myriads of angels below him who he commands. Oh, it's stated that Sendophone is a, in certain places, Sendophone is a she. But we're not going to get stuck on that because we also know that Sendophone is also the prophet Elijah in the flesh. And Sendophone was also Ezekiel. Sendophone. In one incarnation, he was Ezekiel and Elijah. Sendophone has had two incarnations. Sendophone is the chieftain of a music in Marcut Divine Harmonics. Sendophone is a, is a co-brother with Matatron or Metatron. Metatron in Keter. Sendophone in Malkut. Sendophone, before he was a man, he was an angel. Sendophone or Elijah or Ezekiel had no mother and no father. You will not find a record that talk about where Elijah come from. Elijah came through with the sixth seal. Elijah was the spirit of revelation. He came through with the rise of the divine feminine consciousness. Elijah opens the gates of revelation. He is a Melchizedek. He is a Melchizedek. He goes through different multi dimensional realms to do the work of the most high Elijah is one of two who never died there are many more that were taken from the earth alive the whole city of Enoch but one of two major workers in the vineyard who did not taste death Elijah Sendophon Enoch Matatron. Sendophon being the chieftain that he is in Makut takes the finished prayers of the Yahudims. And he brings them up to their master. The words of the rising prayers and the words of the law rise up to the place in the firmament where the stars and the constellations and the sun and the moon are, these are all gods, these are all entities. In this place with the stars, with the constellations, with the sun, with the moon, this place is called the book of remembrance. Now you have a whole new meaning for the book of remembrance, Malachi 3.16. Then they, that reverence God, sat around and talked about the most often. And in the most high presence, a book of remembrance was written for them that reverence the most high. Mm. 
A book of remembrance was written for them that reverence the Most High. Uh huh. What is this place? Who is the moon? Who is the star? The constellations? The sun? Huh? When you go to the books of the patriarchs, the testament of the patriarchs, you will find who is moon, who is sun, who is stars, who is the river, who is this and who is that. I'm trying to get the page for you right now. Huh? Let's see. Book. The book of the Lord, the testament of the twelve patriarchs, page 97 and 98. Let's see. And after these things, after these things, shall Abraham and Isaac and Jacob arise unto life. And I and my brethren shall be chiefs of the tribes of Yasharal. Levi first, second, Joseph. Levi first, I second, Judah second. Levi first, I second, Judah second. Joseph third. Benjamin fourth, Simeon fifth. Issachar sixth. So on and so forth. And the Mosah blessed Levi and the angel of the presence, me. The powers of glory, Simeon. The heaven. Reuben, hold on, let's go. The words of the rising prayers and the words of the law rise up to the place in the firmament where the stars, constellations, sun and moon are. And that place is called a book, a book, the book of remembrance. The Lord blessed Levi and the angel of and the angel of the presence, me. This is the testament of Judah. Judah is the angel of the presence. The most are blessed. Simeon. The powers of glory. The heaven. Reuben. That's your constellations right there. The earth. is called the sea Zebulon. The sea can also be the firmament right there. Or the sea in Malkut, the seas of the oceans. The mountains, Joseph, the tabernacle, Benjamin, the luminaries, constellation, sun and moon. The luminaries, Dan. The luminaries, Dan. The sun, God. See, the sun is God. The words of the rising of the prayers ascend to the stars, to the constellation, to the sun, to the moon. The prayers go to the patriarchs. The prayers go to the gods. The prayers go to your righteous ancestors. Who are your patriarchs? The prayers rise up to the firmament where God is. Zebulon is, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Reuben, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Dan. These are the constellations, the sun, the moon, the stars. These are called the book of remembrance. This is the book of remembrance. The book of remembrance are with your righteous ancestors. This is the reason why in the in the 12th chapter of the book of remembrance of Melchizedek, you are told to call upon your righteous ancestors in the end days, especially the women. You have never been more powerful than you are today because you have been given the power 
to call upon the righteous ancestors, the angels on the fourth firmament, which include all the 12 patriarchs who are gods at the gates, 12 gates, 12 gods, and Dina, who is immortal, who is also, you can say she's the, uh, also being compared as a Shekinah. We don't really know who Dina is. She has so many roles. So send off on text your finished prayers to your ancestors. Each one, whoever you are, if you then, your prayers go to then. If you are then, your prayers go to then. If you are Gad, your prayer go to Gad. If you are Levi, your prayer go to Levi. If you are Judah, your prayer go to Judah, the angel of the presence. Naphtali go to Naphtali. Joseph go to Joseph. Reuben go to Reuben. You see that right there? And Dina probably oversee every single one of them. Hmm? This is how it goes, family. We are told more about these wheels, Sendophone and Matatron. We are told more about the wheels and the pillars and the secret of the letters of the name Adonai. Now, the name Adonai is not Adonai. Let me teach you a better way to remember this name. You will never not use it. Meaning, you will always use it after I tell you. The mystery of the name Adonai. Because I'm going to show you Adonai. It is a name that is employed in Malkut for abundance. For abundance. We're going to cover that right now. But before we go there. We are told. A, li a little bit more. About the secret. Of the letters. Of the name Adonai. But remember this name like this. Ad. On. I. Ad on me. Most high. Ad on I. Most high. Adonai, add on I, add on me, add more grace on me, add more favor on me, add more blessing on I, add more love on me, add more protection on I, add on I, Adonai. You get it? The name Yahadonai is shown to comprise two spirits. Now, you've heard me say Yahadonai. But I've never break it down. And I will break it down today. Yahadonahi is two names combined. It's Adonai and Yahuwah. yod heh vav -He plus Adonai, Adonai and Yahuwah combined together gives you Yahadonahi, which is a massive name of power. Yahadonahi caused the unification of of everything so that everything may be echoed everything have one spirit adonai yahuwah yahadonahi brings everything together causes the unification of everything so that they have all one spirit we just ran through seven chieftains. Tahariel, 
Sahadiel, Staturaya, Adiraya, Snogaya, Sendophone, and number seven is also Shimael, because you had to repent. But now, let's get a revelation. Let's get some more on Adonai and Yahadonahi. And now you just learn something more about the book of remembrance. Huh? Let's see if I took copies. If I didn't take copies, I'll go back. Let me see. Let's see if I took copies. What is this? Retro bites. What is this? Okay. Let's go out. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let me see if I took copies, huh? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. This is uh yeah. I'm gonna show you these things here. Let's see. I'm going to have to read it to you. I'm going to have to read it to you because it appears that I did not take copies. It appears that I did not take copies. Oh, I, I did. I did. I did. Let's select. One, two, three. I did. Oh, you lucky you. Oh. Bam. Let's see. Let's see. Bam. Let's bring it up. The name Adonai. Ad on I. Corresponds to the attribute of Makut kingdom. And it is affiliated with abundance. See? This is why it's called Adon. Adon me. Adonai. It is attributed to Makut, which is the kingdom. And is affiliated with all abundance. All abundance. So when you're doing your meditation for abundance, when you're looking for a new job, a new venture, and you want to do your element of righteousness, you want to do it with the name Adonai. Because the name Adonai, Ad on me, Adonai, it's attributed to Malkut, which is the kingdom, and is affiliated with all abundance. So, it is considered a very powerful divine name. Okay? It is a very powerful divine name. Directly related to our sphere of existence, which is Malkut, the earth. It is said that the abundance which this name is channeling into Malkut, which is the kingdom of manifestation, derives from two divine names. Directly affiliated with the name Adonai. We have Aleph. We have Aye. The divine name of Keter. Which is the crown of consciousness. On the tree of life. And. We have Yahuwah. The ineffable name. Combine these two names. You get the name that represents universal abundance. Not only divine abundance around us everywhere. There is an enormous spiritual benefit to be gained by linking with Adonai. Which is the divine name associated with the world of manifestation. Adonai. Is the divine name associated with the work with the realm of manifestation? Adonai. When you, when you say Adonai, you are channeling into my cut the kingdom of manifestation, universal abundance. So when you say Adonai, you are channeling into your life, into your home, into your business, into your affairs, universal abundance. Because this is the name 
given to you in my court. The kingdom, the realm of manifestation, to draw in into your life divine abundance, which is all around us. We are not only linking ourselves with divine abundance, we are, we are also linking ourselves with the entire, the whole of manifestation. It is said that this activity will aid us into expanding our consciousness as to embrace a much larger whole. Hence, it is understood that it is possible for one to focus the divine abundance within one's own personal being. And then you become a living channel of abundance. Okay? You become the literal spiritual power in the world. Okay? You become what's called a pipe and a bucket. Remember, when you combine the name Adonai and Yahuwah, you get Yahadonahi. So what is the mystery of the name Yahadonahi? Let's get it. Yahadonahi. Yahadonahi. Let me see if I can hold up. Okay. Yahadonahi. It is a divine name combination that is that is composed of Adonai and Yahuwah. It is the gate through which prayers gain entry into the divine presence. You see that right there? And at that gate is the shifting sandal phone. Yahadonahi is a code. To allow your prayers to gain entry into the divine presence of the Most High. Yahadonahi is a code name. It is Adonai and Yahuwah. Is the gate through which prayers gain entry into the divine presence. And at that gate is the archangel, the chieftain, Sendophon. It opened the gate of Nedzak. There is a prayer you can say. Here it is. Commit this prayer to memory. Take a, take a screenshot. May it be your will. Yahadonahi. Eloi. Ha Sabaot. May it be your will. Yahuwah Elohim. Ha Sabaot. In the power of these holy and great names. In the power of these holy and great names. Yagab Pazak El Shaddai. Zimairogda Adir Yaron. Alright, we just covered Adir Yaron. And through the angels, Michael. These holy and great names. Michael, Gabriel, Zadkiel, Chanael, Chaz Diel, Rock Mayel, Aha Vayel, Sham Shayel. These are the powers, the holy and the great names. You sing to the Most High, may it be your will, Yahuwah. Yeah, thank you. Yahadonahi. Eloi ha Sabaot. In the power of these holy and great names, Yagap, Pazak, El Shaddai, Zimarogda, Adir, Yaron. And through the angels, Michael, Gabriel, Zadkiel, Chaniel, Chaziel, Rachmiel, Ahavayel, Shom, Shayel, or Shimael. That I will find grace. That I will find love. That I will find loving kindness. For me to have success. Why do you say success? Because Adonai. Adonai is the name of divine abundance. So you ask the Mosai for you to have success. 
in, in this that you desire. For you to have success in this that you desire. Whatever it is that you're working on. Payback time or I yell from now unto eternity. Amen. And thus be it so willed. Use the name Yahadonahi, which is the gate through which prayers gain entry into the divine presence of the Most High. We are told about the wheels and pillars and the secret of the letters of the name Adonai. The name Yahadonahi is shown to comprise two spirits, Yahuwah and Adonai, yod heh vav -He. It is to cause the unification of everything, oneness, divine abundance, the whole of the universe, so that everything may have one spirit. All my precepts at the bottom, I'm going to have to do another video to cover the cobra, to cover all these things. Because this, this is so much information, I will not be able to do it in one video. Because we got to go now in the next video and go into every name and, and, and give you further information on each of the name. Tahari, Yell, and every one of the chieftains, I have to go and break that down for you. But this is the chamber of a sapphire stone, part one. This is part one. Let's go to the golden scripts and let's get one little paragraph. Number 23, golden scripts, page 328. All oh, this is well, my dearly beloved. The hour is at hand. For such knowledge to be given unto men. The hour is here. For such knowledge to be given unto you. Behold. Go back. All oh, this is well my dearly beloved. The hour is at hand for such knowledge to be given unto you. Behold, I have chosen you for the giving of such knowledge. Behold, I have chosen you, Abdullah, for the giving of such, of such knowledge. Family, you have been chosen for sharing this knowledge to others. Mosa says, I have chosen you for the giving of such knowledge. Behold, you are sent unto men in this generation that they may gird their loins and be wise, taking thought to their stature in cosmic intelligence. Lest they dash their feet and stumble grievously. You are sent unto men in this generation. That they may get gird their loins and be wise. Gird your loins and be wise family. Third Testament, page 254, number 33. Will there be any, will there be any among us who open hearing or reading this message, reject this message as useless or false lessons? Will there be any among us who open hearing this message or reading this message, reject this message as useless or false lessons. Don't let that be you. 
Don't be that one. Let's go now to the book of legends. The Sifaha Agada. Legends from the Talmud. And the Midrash. And we continue. The journey to the soul. Page 387. Archives of travails. And archives of deliverance. Now we covered this before. But now let's get a greater understanding. You know what? Look at this page right now. We will begin our next lesson with this page. And I'm going to take you higher in the next lesson. Let's not cover it. It's going to take too long. I will take you higher in the next lesson from the book of legends. And we're going to go into the book of remembrance of the grandmothers and we're also gonna go into other records the angels of the seven heavens the chieftains of the gates the chieftains of the chambers the first two thousand years in this book we find when Enoch was preaching to the people telling them to repent and return unto the Most High, something happened. We find in page 164 that Enoch demanded that the people take inventory of themselves. This is why the prayers do not get answered. Because the people do not take inventory of themselves. They do not repent. They do not assess their lives. Everywhere that Enoch went, his message divided the populace. Chanok. Everywhere he went, his message divided the people. I pray that my message divide the people. This is why Yeshua said, I came to bring not peace. But a sword. He said peace will come. But after order is reestablished. Enoch message divided the people. I don't want my message to unify you. I want you to get upset. And it drives you to repentance. I want this to hit you. So you can assess your life. And start fighting. For yourself and for people. I want this message to help you realize. That you walk in error. So much so. That you even unsubscribe. Because I was bold enough. To tell you that you jacked up. But later. When you realize that. I was actually helping you. That you may return in love. And be part of the people that the most had to enact to Achi that he would raise in the last days a special people with the same type of faith that the people of the great city of righteousness possessed when they were taken off the earth because of the fullness of the name of the most high written on their hearts that thought the thymus the human crystal the primordial light the tizohar the astrolabe the astronomical clock the eighth chakra, the higher heart. Wherever Enoch went, his message divided the people. From nation to nation, he carried his dynamic declaration. He demanded that the people take inventory of themselves. Enoch discovered that the people separated into clear camps. They separated into clear cut camps. They were for him or they were against him. And the few who accepted Enoch's message responded to the spirit of gathering and collected in a central place in the book of remembrance is called Maya. The Mayanians collected in one place, the city of Moladeh. The city of Moladeh.
which in another video I gave you a meaning for it. Forgot right now. They're collected in one place. It is necessary for the righteous to come out from among the wicked. Because the most I cannot bring the fullness of his wrath to the wicked as long as you are in it. This is why in the times of Enoch, the most I sent Amaziah to remove the righteous from out of the weak, out from among the wicked in the cities of Helia and Toa. And in the end times, which is now the cycle of the ending of the seventh, seven thousand years cycle. The ending of the 7,000 year cycle, the most I says, you shall be, you will be empowered from on high. You don't have an Amaziah that, so he cannot send Amaziah that to remove you from among the wicked. But in order for the most I to bring his, the fullness of his wrath, in order for the earthly mother angels to rise up and rebel against Babylon, the righteous must be removed from among the wicked. So the most I says, no worries. You shall be empowered from on high. Power gonna come to you directly. And we can take that to the keys of Enoch, but we don't have time. The few who accepted his message responded to the spirit of gathering and collected in a central place. While the ones who hated him, who were against him, swore in their wrath somehow to destroy him but they couldn't do it we find further in this book the first 2000 years about the books of Re the book of remembrance but the true meaning of the book of remembrance we found from the zohar but we found the true meaning in the books the book of the patriarchs the records of the patriarchs we found out that the book of remembrance is actually our righteous ancestors, Judah, Levi, Benjamin, Reuben, Dan, Simeon, Naphtali, Gad, Joseph, and Dina. In this record, Abraham confirmed that he was ordained a high priest before leaving Ur of the Chaldeans. But he also tell us that while there he received the Urim and Thummim. Now, that's not what it meant. While he was there, the Mosai came to Abraham and gave him the revelation of how to activate his own Yom crystals from within him, his higher heart, keys of Enoch 319. That's what it means by receiving the Yom and Tumen. Abraham received that, him, that information to build himself a body, a temple of light, and to pass that knowledge down to his posterity. And you receive that from this channel. Your Urim crystals, your higher heart, your Tizo heart, your astrolib, your astronomical plate, your primordial light, your eighth chakra, your thymus. He received the knowledge of the thymus and prophesied to the wicked citizens of Ur that if they did not repent, a great famine would descend upon them. And he also gained possessions of the precious records of the fathers which came before him, Shem, Noah, Enoch, Seth, Yatsikad, and also the records of the women too. Don't forget the seven grandmothers and other righteous women also that they conveniently leave, left out of the records. This is why the, this is the rise of the divine feminine consciousness. All these sexist men sit your behind to the side. Abraham, our father, took possessions of the records of the fathers that came before him which is called the books of remembrance handed down through the line of the patriarchs since the days of Yatsikad yeah keys 319 Abraham receiving the Urim and Thummim higher knowledge esoteric for finding out things about himself that he didn't know esoteric for going within 
okay? This is where we are, family. The journey to the soul. We're going to continue these lessons. And when the Most High deem it necessary for me to stop and move on to something else, I will. Keith. What do I know, they say? I say, read the signs. What do they know? They seem to know everything. Outside of their dogma and ill traditions. I know nothing. For all is plausible. Until one has heard the evidence. And done due diligence. Yet, I do not know enough to listen when Yahuwah calls me. Forgive me yet. I do know enough. I do know enough. I do know enough. I know nothing. But I do know enough. To listen. When my power calls me. I hope it is the same for you. I hope. And I pray. This lesson was edified that you were edified it was edifying that it will help your soul it will help elevate your consciousness rise you up from below bottom consciousness and take you up to a higher level where you can unify with your higher self your Adam Cadman that you can start vibrating on a higher frequency a higher frequencies you could talk to the chieftains. Talk to the gods at the gates. Your fathers. Who are the books. The book of remembrance. For you. That's who they are. The book of remembrance. Malachi 3.16 Do you reverence the Most High? Do you sit around and talk about the Most High often? Well... In the supreme presence, <laughs> a book of remembrance, the constellations, the sun, the moon, the stars, was written for them, the sons of Jacob, the daughters of Jacob, them that live according to the law of the earthly mother, according to the law of the Most High. A book of remembrance was written for them that reverence the Most High. A chamber of sapphire stone. It belonged to your patriarch Issachar. The book of the patriarchs, page 100. The testament of Issachar, Issachar. The testament of Issachar. What did Issachar tell his children? Before he crossed over to the spirit. Let's get a few lines on that. The video is long. But I don't mind. I do long videos. The testament of Issachar. I was born the fifth son of Jacob. Page 100. In the middle of the book. I was born the fifth son of Jacob by way of hire for the Mendrakes. Let's go to the back. What did he say to his children? He said, when I grew up, my children, I walked in uprightness of heart. And I became a husband for my husbandmen, for my father and my brethren. And I brought in the fruits of the field according to their season. And my father blessed me, for he saw that I walked in rectitude before him. 
And I was not a busybody in my doings. I was not envious. I was not malicious against my neighbor. I never slandered anyone, nor did I censure the life of any man. Walking as I did in singleness of eye. Therefore, when I was 35 years old, I took to myself a wife. For my labor were wore away my strength, and I never thought upon pleasure with women. But owing to my toil, sleep overcame me. And my father always rejoiced in my rectitude because I offered through the priest to the Lord all first fruits. And the Lord increased ten thousand fold his benefits in my hands. And also Jacob my father knew that God aided my singleness. For on all the poor and oppressed I bestowed the good things of the earth. And now hearken to me my children and walk in singleness of your heart. For I have seen it all. Remember, he has the gift of prophecy. Okay? Nostradamus was of the tribe of Issachar. The sapphire stone is the stone of prophecy. That's why he said, I have seen it all. I have seen it all, my children. That is well pleasing to the Most High. Okay? What did he say? Let's let's keep let's keep all the way down. Let's keep all the way down. Because it's a long talk. He says, I love the most high, likewise, also every man with all my heart. So do you also these things, my children? And every spirit of Belial shall flee from you, and no deed of wicked men shall rule over you. And every wild beast shall you subdue, since you have with you the power of heaven and the power of earth, and walk with men in singleness of heart. Okay, and having said these things, he commanded his sons that they should carry him to Hebron and bury him there in the cave with his fathers. And he stretched out his feet and died, the fifth son of Jacob, of a good old age. With every limb sound and with strength unabated, he slept the eternal sleep. They never got sick, family. They never got sick. They died in their strength. He said, hearken to me, my children, and walk in singleness of your heart. Keep therefore, my children, the law of the Most High power and get singleness. Hmm. He said, your sons will forsake singleness and will cleave unto insatiable desire. All right. Anyway, read that for yourself. I shall leave you here. All praises to the most high, our power, the great I am, loving kindness, the holy great one, the power of the Yahudims. All praises to the merciful father. All praises to our celestial mother, the one who was, the one who is, and the ones whom shall always be. Family, until next time. Yashalom. Ya